All right, so we're back, and now it's time to, from the two little mini bots that we've looked at, it's time to look for something a little bit more on the brutish scale. Um, and this is the Super 7 Slash figure, and <laughs> I love it. I just love it. All right, so he comes with a ton of accessories. Um, and being that he's such a big boy to begin with, um, you know, I've always got to say I'm impressed with the amount of accessories he comes with. Um, get this all out of the packaging. Let's take a look at everything. So, we've got, let's get this out, pull this out, we have two grenades, alright, that's where we're going to start with. We've got a knife, looks good, we've got a mace. Nice silver paint, little silver little spikes going on. Looks good. We've got a sword. Now it's bent, but that's my fault because of the way I was holding it, or the way I had it hold held on the belt was kind of like wedged against stuff. So other than that, it's actually was everything has been pretty, pretty straight on. Um, other than that, looks good. We've got nunchucks. Uh, only thing I wish is they would have done um, like a wire in here or the chain like they did Michelangelo's because as it is this just looks kind of stupid um, but we've got a uh, kind of a sigh more like a dagger or bent up sigh we've got the weapon sprue which has every every one of those weapons but in and just this pink color. He has three ninja stars. One that's here, it just clips or just plugs onto the belt. It takes a little bit to get it in there, so that's why I'm not taking them out. Um, so these are all ninja stars. They can kind of rotate where you plug them in at. And yeah, on that looks good. All right, so now hand options. He's got. Uh, an opening, opening hands or gripping hands, I guess. Uh, that are. He's got two sets of gripping hands. Um, in and out gripping hands, and then up and down gripping hands. Like this one. <laughs> the other one's kind of stuck. I'm sure if I put it on the figure, it'll be easier to do. He's got two posing hands. And he's got two fist hands. So he's got a slew of weapons and accessories and options. And then he's got the big shit-eating grin. And he's got the more stoic, kind of classic uh, turtle look of each side is open just a little bit. So up to you which one you want to use. This one I think looks a little bit more on the menacing side than this guy. Alright, and he's this darker green. Uh, looks great. Um... <laughs> I mean, it's just like the original toy. Uh, this is what where this line really has me. Is just the, the, the hitting that nostalgia factor of these figures that I had as a kid um, that I, I, you know, that weren't all that great to begin with, but you know, it's just great to have. All right, posability head is on a ball joint, uh, so it goes. Actually, it's a double ball peg. Um, it's a pain to get out. So I'm not going to do that, but uh, it gets all the way over there, 
all the way over there, up to there, down to there. Uh, all of that works pretty well. Shell, the this shell is a little bit soft, um, not as soft as like the belt soft goods, but um, or soft plastic. Back shell is hard plastic. Yeah. Shoulders hinge up to there, or up to there, back to there. You could go all the way around, just kind of depends on how you get around those spikes there. Bicep swivel, bends at the elbow. Uh, another swivel above the elbow. Wrist swivels, um, hinges in and out, depending on which hands you're using. The waist swivels, just ever so slightly. A little challenge to get to maneuver with everything that's going on here. Tail swivels. Hips are on um, universals. Or disc hinges, however you want to say it. Thigh swivel. Bends at the knee. Swivel below the knee. Uh, foot uh, swivels up and down. Rocker. Extreme rocker. And now he's a little bit on that heavy side. I, I kind of wish they would have uh, included some like true ratchets into his legs um, to give him a little bit more support just because his shell's heavy. Um, and it, it surprisingly, it doesn't make him back heavy as you'd think. It makes him a little bit more front heavy just because of the way it kind of just angles forward because of the head. Um, but for the most part, this thing is fantastic. Um, let me show you how he looks with a turtle. So here he is with Don Tillo. Maybe. And yeah. <laughs> You know, I like how he's just a little bit taller, not too much taller, but if he were to stand straight up, he'd be a lot bigger. Uh, and he's got that, just so much more bulk, you know, cause he's that, he's a snapping turtle essentially instead of just a regular turtle. Um, I mean, whew, a lot of stuff going on with this guy and all of it positive in my book. Um, this guy is great. Um, I know they're raising their prices on some of the bigger figures, but this one's still at the still that like fifty four dollar cost, fifty five dollars I think. Um, and some of them, like the bigger ones coming out next year, they're going up to like sixty something dollars. And I get that, you know, when you get to those bigger figures, you kind of gotta get a little bit more money for. Um, and this is one of those figures that if it was sixty four, sixty five. $70, I'd probably still say it's worth it, 100%. This guy is is great. Um, outside of, I wish he would have been a little bit more stable in the legs. Uh, not to say he's not stable. These joints do feel pretty, pretty good. One of the better ones that Super 7 has done. But because of the weight of the turtle shell, um, it kind of makes you want it to be a little bit more on the... Uh, just just better uh, you know it just kind of makes you want it want it a little bit better um and i do wish he had like just a straight katana uh like in the cartoon i know this is going off the toy design a little bit more but still i kind of do wish he had a katana um but other than that i think the figure's great um i think i'm gonna have to give it a nine out of ten um, just the legs just be a little bit more tighter or with ratchets that's it that's all I got that's all it would need to, to make it a 10 this thing is great I love the nostalgia feel I get from manipulating it he is he's just it's just great it just it's straight up the the slasher that I remember as a kid so um yeah, I, I can't write. If you're into the toy line, if you're into the Super 7 stuff, um, I can't recommend this guy enough. He's, he's, 
he's just about perfect. So um, I know Ace Duck. Ace Duck, uh, Mausers hit the hit my loot, but I ended up canceling them because I just I just don't really have a need for an army of Mausers. Uh, but Ace Duck, Leatherhead, and Krang just hit my loot. Um, so I, I'm ho I hope Leatherhead's going to be as good. Um, Krang, I, I don't have too much hope for just because it's just like there's not much you can do with that figure. And Ace Duck, I, I have high hopes on too, but not as high. Just I, I have a feeling that one's going to be a mess, um, just a little bit. Um, but this is the star of the wave so far, although it is the only one I've looked at, so it's a little unfair. But <laughs> who cares? And it's a great figure. I recommend it. Uh, definitely pick it up if you if you can.